we are trying to find T and we know that P plus R equals 69. And another name for P is 3T squared plus 2 plus R is 6T minus 5. And we know that equals 69. So we're in good shape because we have an equation that just has the variable T in it. So this is 3T squared plus 6T minus 3 equals 69. So that's 3T squared plus 6T. It's a quadratic equation. We need to get 0 on one side. So that's going to be minus 72. I'm subtracting that 69. Now let's divide everything by 3 just to make our numbers smaller, and that's going to be easier to factor. And that's going to be t squared plus 2t minus 24 equals 0. Once again, this 2 as an exponent, the highest exponent is 2, makes this thing a quadratic equation. And the first step in solving a quadratic is to get 0 on one side. Now let's factor. If it will factor, it will factor into two parentheses. So what times what will give me t squared, t and t. What times what will give me a 24 and add up to a 2. So it's going to be a positive 6 and a negative 4. T, if you multiply this out, you get t times t is t squared. t times negative 4 is negative 4t. 6 times t and then 6 times a negative 4 is a negative 24. You get t squared plus 2t minus 24. So we checked our factoring and everything's good. Now from this step, what's the only way you can multiply two things together and get 0? That's if one of them's 0. So either t plus 6 equals 0 or t minus 4 equals 0. So t is negative 6, t is 4. So both of those answers are solutions, but the problem says where t is a positive number. They want the positive one, so my answer is 4.